Communication is the key to understanding. As EC students, we are bound to that principle. We want to make sure that everyone can send their message so as to understand each other. Approximately 16% of all the people in the world are mute and unable to express themselves to people like us unless we know how to do sign language. This prototype, Brain Controlled LCD Message Display for Disabled, serves as an alternative to solve that problem. This device can be used by those individuals to convey what they want using their minds. This is how it works. This prototype consists of the display box with its integrated microcontroller, LED matrix, LCD display, and of course, the NeuroSky MindWave headset. So, for this device to work, we need the user. User, please! Oh! What a good looking guy like me! Can you wear this, sir? This is the basic operation of the device. First, the user inputs brain signals to the mind wave, namely, attention, blinking, meditation. Then, the mind wave encodes these signals which are then sent wirelessly to the receiver in the display box. Depending on the type of signal sent by the user, he can navigate the light and LED to the letter that he wants and then select it to be displayed on the LCD. But how is the matrix exactly being controlled? This is the matrix display. There are three sections. The first section consists of the green LEDs that represent the letters, numbers, and the word shortcuts, space, backspace, etc. The second section is the attention or focus gauge. This measures the amount of focus signal sent by the user. Of course, the higher the focusing, the higher the value. The last part is the HV LEDs. Short for the horizontal and vertical LED shifting indicators. These two LEDs are being controlled by blinking. Let's turn it on. Alright, initially, when turned on, the top leftmost green LED on the first section of the matrix is lighted, as well as the horizontal LED indicator. As we can see here, the attention gauge indicates low level of attention since the user is not yet putting enough attention signals. Now, notice what happens when he starts focusing. We can see that the green light shifts horizontally. It is programmed in such a way that when the attention gauge reaches 30% attention level, the green light starts to shift. Now see what happens when the focus goes down below 30%. It stops shifting. As said earlier, the HV LED are being controlled by blinking. Once he blinks, blink please, the H LED toggles to V LED which means vertical light LED shifting. And when he starts focusing again above threshold, we can see now that the green LED shifts in a vertical manner. With these combinations of focusing and blinking, the user can now navigate the light to the character that he wants. How to select a character? Selection is simple. Once the user have navigated the light to the desired character, the next thing to do is to double blink to select the character. The letter or number will then be displayed to the LCD screen indicating that it has been selected. The user continues to do the same process until he forms the desired phrase. How to wear the headset? First, insert a AAA battery properly. After inserting it, close it. Then, wear the headset. Make sure that the sensor is properly placed in the forehead. Then, attach the ear clip. Check for the fit. Classic 
the headset is properly placed. Make sure the headset sensor touches the forehead skin. Then, turn on the device. Press button 2, which indicates now and setup. This is the default setting. Turn on the headset. A blue LED will illuminate when the headset is connected. Check the H and V LED. If it toggles, it's not properly placed. Adjust the headset sensor. Repeat until the H and V LED doesn't toggle. Turn off both headset and display when adjusting the sensor. Using the device. To move the LED light selection, attention level must be greater than the attention setting. To increase attention, you must focus. The LED light would start to move from left to right to the H, horizontal red LED is on. And from top to bottom, if V, vertical red LED is on. You can switch between H and V by blinking once. Blinking two times would select the character and copy it to the LCD. There are shortcuts to clear the LCD screen. Select hold followed by a backspace. 